Hey everybody, I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all something kind of strange and funny at the same time that happened to us the other day. We were in our RV and my husband was up front and uh, I was in the back and I went back there real quick to change clothes. It was one of those days, you know, where you get dressed and you go outside and then you realize you got to change clothes again. Well, I went to the back, changed clothes, and all of a sudden I heard my husband say, babe, real soft, like he was sick. And I was like, what? And he goes, babe. And I was like, oh, he knows I just come back here to change clothes. What does he want? And I'm like, Waddy, he says, we have a snake in the camper. Girls and boys, I about lost it. I could not breathe. My first thought was that snake was between me and the front door. We only have one door to the camper. Yeah, you guessed it. So I'm looking down the hall thinking the snake is between me and Johnny or me and the front door. And I was like, where, where? I was just having a fit and I looked down the hall and he goes look up and I looked up y'all by our slide out you're not gonna believe this but this snake tried to come through the slide out and was too big thank God and he was just hanging down like a rope so my husband got these gloves and uh, he starts to pull the snake, trying to get the snake out so he could get him out of the camper. He's pulling, he's like, he won't come out, he's stuck. And I'm like, oh my God, he's gonna pull it in two. <laughs> so anyway, he says, turn the key and let the slide out in. So y'all, I finally did that and he was able to pull the snake out. The snake didn't even move. He had been stuck, I guess, for a while, but anyway, my husband was my hero for that day because trust me, I would have gave that camper to that snake that I've been by myself. <laughs> and I just wanted to come on here and share that with y'all. And I um, hope everybody's having a good day. And I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. Thank y'all for watching.